Hello everyone. <clears throat> Today I'm here to talk to you about investing and how investing is the best way for anyone to create wealth. Now investing is something that really interests me and um, the more I do it, the more I learn. Every day has been a learning experience for me since I began my journey in investing in the year 2005. Now, I must begin by saying that what I'm talking to you about today is in particular investing in the stock market. See, there are many ways of investing. You can invest in real estate, you can invest in stocks, you can invest in um, in your own business. Uh, each one of these things are, are good in their own way. I today am going to be talking to you about investing in the stock market because that is something that I enjoy doing and that is something that is easy for people to begin investing with small amounts of money and uh, if you follow the basic rules, basic principles or basic ideologies, um, it is a very good way towards creating long-term wealth. Now, first of all, uh, as I told you, I started my journey in investing in the year 2005 and I have uh, done, you know, I have done all the things that you can do in the market as in I've traded, I've done futures and options, I've, um, I've done currency, I've done some commodities, I've done everything in the, in the market uh, in different periods in my journey. And uh, my personal feeling is that uh, the best way to actually preserve wealth and create wealth in the long term uh, is long term investing in stocks, as in buying stocks and keeping them in your DMAT, letting them grow and uh, occasionally selling them for, for profit. However, what, I've, what I have seen is that the real wealth uh, is created the longer you keep the stocks and we should not get the, have the temptation to keep selling whenever uh, you know there's a little bit of profit because at times you'd lose out in the long term. Uh, having said that, let me just tell you that investing is a very personal thing. Uh, over the years, you know, 2005, I started to now it's 2019. So I've been investing in the stock market for 14 years now. And in those 14 years, I have really learned uh, a lot. And I'm sure that every day I'm going to learn more. Uh, I just wanted to share with you that personal, uh, that investing is very personal. There's no right way or wrong way. There are no, uh, you know, everyone has their own personal type of uh, way that they'd like to invest, their own personal type of stocks that they like to invest in, their own personal reasons for being an investor. Now, those are all, um, you know, that the, the, they all depend from person to person. So there's no hard and fast rule. I can share with you my ideas. Um, I, over the years, have developed, a few, I mean, I've, I've sort of realized that it is always good to invest in, in good blue chip stocks, um, you know, which are already tried and tested. Uh, because over the years, as you as you look at the charts, you look at the, the the history of how the market has been growing since, let's say, from the year I started, 2005, you will see that the great uh, blue chip companies, they keep on and on and on growing. And when you factor in things like bonuses, dividends, splits and all that, the kind of returns that you would have made had you just bought those stocks and kept them would have been phenomenal. Um, of course, as you keep progressing in your journey, you can keep adding things like mid caps, small caps, some good quality mid and small caps you can even invest in, uh, even at this stage. However, my advice to you would be, especially uh, when you're beginning, stick to the stocks which are uh, tried and tested, the blue chip companies. Look around you. You see, we, we tend to... Um, you know, first of all, let, let's just uh, remove a myth. Stock market investing is not very complicated. It's not something that you need to be a rocket scientist to understand. 
you have to have basic common sense and have patience okay now when you look around in your day to day life there are things that you see every day you you might you know you you'll get up every morning you'll brush your teeth you'll use soap you'll take a shower you'll have breakfast you'll go to work and you know all those day to day things that you see but keep your eyes open for for companies that or products that you see that everyone is using things like for i'm i'm just giving you an example here this is not an advice to actually buy these companies but i i will share with you examples companies like colgate now get up in the morning brush your teeth chances are you'll be using colgate chances are right then uh, your other products in the house uh, uh, we, you know you can you can look at certain soaps you look at uh, different other things in the house chances are it could be made by hul hindustan unilever you have uh, something to eat uh, say coffee so you have coffee in the morning nestle uh, you know you go to office you have a biscuit could britannia you know so right now these stocks i mentioned these are basically fmcg or fast moving consumer goods but they're all great stocks to invest in and even though they're big don't let that uh, scare you because these companies still have a lot of growth potential india is still going to grow by leaps and bounds and trust me today for stock is even like you know uh, 2000 3000 5000 8000 don't let that bother you because it's it will keep growing in the long term you know then you have you know things that you see every day like indian oil corporation you know you you'll see petrol pumps everywhere every car truck bus uh, uh, two wheeler in the country has to uh, have uh, use petrol how many new how many companies are there okay so you know things like indian oil corporation uh, you know uh, that's a great i mean it's may not be considered as a very glamorous stock but it gives a great dividend yield and uh, dividend is a great way to get regular income from your investments of course we'll talk about dividends and all later on uh, but just look around you you know there's so many examples you have medicines so who makes these medicines companies like cipla um uh, sun pharma dr reddy abbot there's so many great companies glenmark pharmacy i mean i'm just giving you some examples uh, look at things like you know things like fevercol which everybody uses which company makes that pity light okay uh, your cement and steel companies they are going to really flourish a lot now with all this thrust towards infrastructure A- paint companies asian paints for example burger i mean there's so many uh, companies so these were just some examples and of course uh, there are many other uh, such examples but what i wanted to basically share with you is that don't le- don't get um, you know sort of disillusioned or or scared when you see all these analysts saying this that buy this buy that no investing is a is a great thing to do every person must invest india is a great country we have a huge economy with the fastest growing economy in the world there is still even though the stock markets have risen like anything from uh, 2005 of course but there is still long way to go because india is still going to grow it's one of the greatest economies in the world and there's so many opportunities and we must all invest in equities because it is a great way towards wealth creation a and b it is a great way for you and me to participate in the growth story of our country you know even if you uh, don't have enough money to have your own business or uh, you know you don't have the time to do business you might be doing some other business but you want to be a part of the growth story right so stock market when you buy stocks you're actually part owner of a company and you're participating in that growth story so have a lot of confidence and optimism in india and the future economic growth of india participate in that by investing in stocks there are great tools available go to moneycontrol.com for example do your proper research on the stocks before you buy but at the same time certain common sense items you must see i mean companies some of the companies i mentioned of course uh, you know these are just examples of course they're not a recommendation to buy these companies but uh, it makes good sense to initially at least buy companies that you know about you know what warren buffett the greatest guru and the greatest investor of all time globally he always says invest in companies that you know 
and don't think that you're buying a stock or a share think that you're buying a business so uh, these are some ideas that i wanted to share with you uh, there's a huge amount of growth left in india don't uh, let it go by be a part of that story start investing in equities carefully with with a with a, uh, with a thoughtful mind uh, don't go according to tips what people tell you use your own common sense use your eyes invest in those companies that you can see whose products you yourself use um, that is a great way to start thank you and good luck